The plane carrying Queen Elizabeth's coffin landed in London at about past seven and Princess Anne, the Princess Royal, accompanied her mother's coffin from Scotland to London. As soon as the plane left Scotland, Princess Annie released the statement regarding her mother's death, and I quote, I was fortunate to share the last 24 hours of my dearest mother's life. It has been an honor and a privilege to accompany her on her final journeys. Witnessing the love and respect shown by many on these days has been both humbling and uplifting. We will all share unique memories. I offer my thanks to each and everyone who share our sense of loss. We may have been reminded how much of her presence and contribution to our national identity we took for granted. I am also so grateful for the support and understanding offered to my dear brother Charles as he accepts the added responsibilities of the monarch. To my mother, the queen, thank you. So this was actually sent in by the princess royal the moment they took off for the first this is actually the first statement she has made since the passing of her mother the late queen elizabeth the second so the queen's body arrives back in london her coffin is carefully carried from the raft plane as you can see they are walking gently in honor of the late queen meanwhile prince harry has released a statement regarding the death of his grandmother the queen the statement from prince harry the duke of sussex reads in celebrating the life of my grandmother her majesty the queen and in mourning her loss we are all reminded of the guiding compass she was to so many in her commitment to service and duty she was globally admired and respected her unwavering grace and dignity remain true throughout her life and now her everlasting legacy. Let us echo the words she spoke after the passing of her husband, Prince Philip. Words which can bring comfort to all of us now. Life, of course, consists of final patterns as well as first meetings. So this beautiful moment between Prince Harry and his grandmother, the Queen, I absolutely love this moment, so in every sense of the world, the smiles between them. I hope he finds peace this period because it's funny that um, the British media makes it look like he's at war with the royals and she that like he was at, they maybe they make it look like he was at war with his grandma, but he has said on several occasions that his grandma used to FaceTime them. She has met his kids and she's pretty cool. But looking at this picture, you could see the love and the smile on her face. Obviously, his grandmom loves him just like she loves her other grandkids. So the Queen's coffin arrived in London on her way to the Buckingham Palace after she said goodbye to parts of the United Kingdom for the last time. And there were lots of people on the street, a multitude of people waving i have never seen this type before like it was rainy and they were very patient they waited along the road some had umbrellas some were without umbrellas i mean the love is massive city you see the complexity of life this is queen elizabeth when she arrived london for the first time as queen in february 1952 and also this is queen elizabeth the second in london for the last time september 2022 this time in a coffin and see the multitude of people just waiting along the road to catch a glimpse of the queen's coffin and we have the moment the queen's coffin arrived the buckingham palace and